It's been nearly a year since these six Woodmore Elementary students died in a tragic bus crash. Today, a new coalition stepped forward to try and prevent something similar from happening again. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato is here to tell us what that group wants from the school board and how one member is responding to those demands. Alyssa. Calvin and the Trisha, it's called the Stand Up for School Bus Safety, and these are the flyers being handed out in the community. The coalition says they're demanding more attention to bus safety from the Hamilton County School Board, but one board member tells me she feels they're doing all they already can to keep students safe. On November 21st, 2016, the Woodmore bus crash changed our community. It started a conversation about safety and change. So we're part of the, the, the coalition Stand Up for School Bus Safety. This group is made up of community leaders like Kayla Williams, parent and Durham bus driver. Parents need to know the rules. Students need to know what's expected. We want to be able to uh, ask if you will be, can put these in your fellowship halls. Uh, uh, these are simple, uh, safety tips. This is what they're asking from the Hamilton County School Board. Things like a safety hotline and a request to make changes to the board's current policies like training and how the behavior of students is addressed. The fact that there needs to be some type of protocol and procedures for bus safety, I think that it needs to be made aware of uh, by parents. Today we found Hamilton County's transportation policy on their website. Many of the concerns the coalition had are already addressed on that site like establishing a hotline for bus complaints. After a story aired here on News Channel 9 months ago, Durham added a hotline where anyone could call and make a complaint. We tried that number today, but we couldn't get through. Hamilton County's transportation office told us that number was disconnected a few months ago and people are now being referred to this new number. Since these demands target the school board, we got board member Rhonda Thurman's take on the idea. We have radios on all the buses. Uh, we have extra training. Uh, we've talked to the, had meetings with principals to be sure that they're addressing the issue when a, when a bus driver comes in and have, they have behavioral issues on a bus. Rhonda Thurman also says she and the other board members have no issue with sitting down and hearing the concerns the coalition has themselves, but says just because they make demands, it doesn't mean they'll make any more changes. Spokesperson for Hamilton County Schools Amy Ketcher also reiterated the point that there are policies and procedures in place that address bus safety and bus maintenance. You can read their response on our website, newschannel9.com. Calvin. Thanks, Alyssa. After the Woodmore crash, the company who hired the driver implemented new safety changes. Durham School Services installed smart cameras on all of its buses in Hamilton County. Now, the cameras are triggered by things like hard stops or unusual bus movement. Durham also created an online complaint system that directly connects every school the company serves. Durham also hired bus monitors and increased driver pay to $15 an hour. Durham owns about 190 buses in Hamilton County. Hamilton County Schools is considering getting rid of